If you ever wondered where Demi Moore lives, you can bet her Hollywood career bought her some super nice properties. There was her one time New York City penthouse, which bordered Central Park, her family ranch in Idaho, and of course, her longtime mansion in none other than Beverly Hills, Los Angeles, which she's owned since 2003. Also, Michael and I dropped our very own house tour of our new home we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. And once you watch, let let me know what you think of our house. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Back in the 90s, Demi Moore was one of the biggest stars in Hollywood, so much so that she once got paid what was then the highest amount ever for an actress at $12.5 million for one film. That project? Well, have you ever heard of a movie called Striptease? Couple her eye-popping paydays with what turned into a financially lucrative 90 million dollar divorce from her former husband Bruce Willis and it might surprise you to learn that Demi Moore is worth an estimated 200 million dollars today. Over the course of her career, Demi's invested a healthy portion of this worth into some luxe real estate holdings. For instance, in 1990, she and Bruce split a 7 million dollar bill on a New York City home right beside Central Park. Demi would hold on to this gorgeous apartment for nearly 3 decades while splitting her time between two further places, one of which was her family's ranch home in Haley, Idaho. The other is the necessary Hollywood mansion in Beverly Hills that Demi acquired with another former ex, Ashton Kutcher, for $3.15 million. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, today looking at where Demi Moore calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. The dual towers of the Big Apple's San Remo building are an iconic part of the city's skyline, especially when viewed up close and personal from nearby Central Park. At the apex of that south tower is the once longtime home of Demi Moore and her family. Demi and her former hubby action superstar Bruce Willis bought this 17 room, three floor suite in 1990 for a reported $7 million. And while Demi and Bruce's marriage wouldn't last, her relationship with this place would. Boasting six bedrooms along Alongside five and a half baths, this gem features views of both Central Park and the New York City skyline from the comfort of both inside and out. Once you ride the private elevator up to the penthouse, you'll step off to discover a home covered in wood paneling, which somehow works, even in the concrete jungle. Especially when you combine the design with the sunlight that flows in through the home's lengthy two story windows that can make you feel like you're actually living inside Central Park. This 7,000 square foot home provides more than enough space to raise a large family, which Demi definitely has, and it's also big enough to house visiting guests with a designated loft. Other spaces include a dining room, entertainment den, an eating kitchen, and even a separate breakfast nook, all of which are spread out across the first and second floors. Meanwhile, up on the third and final floor, you'll find French doors that lead out to a giant terrace, as well as a games room and a home office. Beyond the majesty of the penthouse itself, other building amenities are said to include include a garden, fitness center, playroom for the kids, and a storage area, which in New York City is a must. After splitting from Bruce in 2000, Demi would retain sole ownership of this penthouse for the next 15 years, so she finally put it on the market for a mind-melting $75 million. But no, she didn't get what she was looking for when she finally sold the property two years later. $45 million sure isn't bad though, right? Demi pocketed all that cash and then headed off for what just might be her favorite property of all, out west in Idaho. Bruce and Demi first moved to Idaho in 1988, the very same year they welcomed their first daughter, Rumor. With these Hollywood superstars set on expanding their family, they needed someplace away from Hollywood to do so in privacy. Well, they found that spot in a tiny town known as Haley, Idaho. They arrived looking to become everyday regular people, but wound up as anything but. After securing themselves a ranch-style home 
and don't worry. We'll circle back to that in a second. This newlywed couple went a little crazy. In fact, it seems as if Bruce in particular became inspired to turn Haley into his very own version of paradise by gobbling up a ton of vacant property lots and constructing a whole series of businesses. I'm talking the likes of a movie theater, a shopping center, a nightclub, and even a 50s style diner that they called Shorties. Unfortunately, after the couple split, Bruce's interest in the town began to wane. Much like with their New York penthouse, Demi was given ownership of the ranch. So Bruce abandoned his investments in the rest of the town with basically no warning. He closed down the nightclub and diner, costing hundreds of people their jobs. He also canceled all further development plans and was subsequently sued by former contractors and employees for unpaid wages. Thankfully, some of those spots like the diner would reopen later on under new management. As for Demi, well, she never abandoned Idaho. In fact, she continued to live out of their ranch style home and she still spends a considerable amount of her time there to this day. Over the past few years, she's also occasionally offered us glimpses into this lovely place through social media. For instance, here's a look at Demi's family style kitchen and much like her former New York penthouse, you'll notice that there's wood paneling everywhere. On top of the wooden floors and cabinets, Demi has some quartz countertops and going by the background behind her, she's also a very well organized individual with things like cereal, flowers, dish soap, and houseplants all having their own designated spots. Over on Instagram, Demi's even given us a look at her extra large living room that boasts a massive maroon sofa beside a coffee table with further additions like lamps, pillows, and books, along with a giant window behind them. Meanwhile, over in the dining room, that all wood theme continues while providing a few charming accents, like those tiny chairs that have been attached to a nearby wall. But the one room in this place that made the biggest impression on Demi's fan base is probably the last room you'd expect to do so, her bathroom. And if I'm being honest, it's not because of how exquisite it is. As you can see, this large room has been fitted with a bath, toilet, and sink. So far, so good, right? But then what is that large floral print sofa doing in here? And how about the brown shag carpet? Well, as it turns out, Demi had an explanation for this weirdness. All of these choices were design elements that Bruce added on himself. Speaking of Bruce, during the recent pandemic, he actually made his return to Haley, Idaho to shack up with Demi and their children to wait out the stay at home orders. And going by the images Demi posted online, they all seem to be having their time of their lives while doing so. When Bruce and the kids aren't living here with Demi, she has some other live-in guests, nine to be exact. Moore has always been a dog lover, so it should be no surprise that she has a squad of rescue dogs living with her. She had seven dogs back in 2019 and collected at least two more over the last couple of years. Following Demi's divorce from Ashton Kutcher, she has gotten comfortable alone, but she's still open to meeting someone someday. She said, I hope that there's a partner in my future when it's the right time. I think we're a communal species. We're not supposed to be alone. Although I've gotten very comfortable alone, me and my seven dogs, which is now nine or more. And speaking of her ex Ashton, let's take a look at one of her other homes. After spending so much of the 90s living in Haley, Idaho, Demi's three daughters eventually persuaded her to return back to California, where she and her then boyfriend Ashton Kutcher dropped $3.15 million on a mansion in Beverly Hills back in 2003. Now Demi splits her time between her Idaho ranch and this spot. After looking at close to a dozen houses, Demi wound up circling back to the very first home she visited, telling Architectural Digest at the time, when we walked in, my kids whispered, this is the one. It was ideal. It was right at the center of things, but it had such a serene quality. It was like being in a treehouse. And she's not kidding about that treehouse comment either. Over the years, Demi has done her best to emphasize the nature that surrounds her home, even going so far as to make it a part of the house itself. She told Architectural Digest, you feel the outside when you're inside. The house is a part of nature and nature rarely does it wrong. If we stick closely to it, we'll always be on the right track. But soon enough, another problem would emerge. Demi had more children than she had bedrooms. So to resolve this problem, she brought in an interior designer to open up the spaces and make enough room, not only for her kids, but her pets and friends as well. 
Of course, practically speaking, she also had to make some additions to the house and added on two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a den for her kids to utilize. As for the outside, well, it boasts a large swimming pool with a spacious deck, and thanks to the property being nestled into a canyon hillside, it's totally set away from prying eyes. Best of all, Demi is simply content with the warmth this home brings to her and her family's life, and that's probably why she continues to live there to this very day. Well, that's gonna bring our Demi Moore house tour to an end. I gotta say, I love how she shares her place with all those cute dogs, life goals. Be sure to let me know what you thought of her properties down in the comments, and don't forget to take a moment to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications before you leave. Feel free to follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.